Ontario are closing again. The move includes the closure of Sauble Beach on the Bruce Peninsula in Ontario along Lake Huron. The local council decided to shut it down after they were overwhelmed with day trippers over the last two weekends or so. The mayor partially blamed beachgoers visiting from the greater Toronto area, which is about two and a half, three hours away by car. She says some clearly violated the rules about physical distancing and mayor Janice Jackson is joining us now from the region with more. Good to see you. Thanks for taking the time to come on CTV News. Thanks for having me. You know, I'm sure this wasn't a decision you took lightly, uh, but what happened? It was a it was a very difficult decision. Um, you know, we tried the phased-in approach to mirror the, the province, and we had a, a, a walk-through purposes only um, phase that ran for a couple of weeks to see if everybody could, you know, follow the rules. And uh, and it's a four-kilometer long beach. It's, a, you know, one of the largest in Ontario. Um, but we got to the weekend, and uh, two weekends in a row, people just, uh, it was just a flagrant disregard for, for um, you know, our entire community, and, and it was very, very difficult. Yeah, and obviously, you know, your primary concern is to make sure that, you know, your residents, your constituents are protected here. Uh, you, know, you, you were seeing people just partying, and they weren't following any of the rules. That's right. In large groups of, uh, you know, far more than 10 people, we had barbecues and alcohol and uh, dogs and tents and you name it. But the, the problem is our beach this year is very, very tiny. With the high water levels, we've lost about 30% of our beach. And what's remaining is only 5, 10 feet wide. So you add 60,000 people to that mix on a, on a long weekend, and that is a recipe for disaster. Yeah, what's the reaction been from, from locals who uh, are now going to have to deal with this? You know, I, I was very nervous about the reaction because they live at the beach because of the beach. Um, but it was an absolute instant uh, overwhelming uh, positive response. They were very grateful to the council for doing, you know, what we did. It was very brave of, of my team to do this. Um, but, you know, health and safety of our community uh, is paramount. And hmm. we make no bones about that. If you can't behave yourself, um, you know, we, we can't host you. If you can, you want to come up and have a great time and, and behave yourself, we would love to have you. Yeah, wise words. Uh, what about business owners as well who do rely on seasonal tourism uh, and are, are hoping to be able to save, you know, something of the summer, Mayor Jackson? You know, it's very, very challenging for them. Uh, I mean, COVID has harmed all businesses right across the country and the planet. Um, but I mean, these people have 90 days, you know, to make their living and uh, it's heartbreaking for them. So we're trying to get, you know, our, our community to rally around them and shop locally, you know, mo now more than ever. Um, but we're we're just doing the best for for everybody, and and it is a very very difficult situation, and we can't make everyone happy. There's a long way to go in the summer. It's just arrived, uh, obviously, a couple of days ago. Is there a timeline for when you may choose to reopen uh, the beaches? Well, we need more help. We just don't have enough enforcement up here, so uh, we need the OPP to come up and help us out. I'm going to be appealing to the premier today and his team. Uh, and if we can get sufficient uh, enforcement up here, then we will plan the next step in, in opening the beach. And uh, we hope that we'll have it back up and running again soon. Uh, but we will not do that until we can provide uh, a safe environment for our community. Great to have you on, Mayor Jackson. And we appreciate you taking the time getting the word out for us here on CTV News Channel. Thank you. Thanks for having me.